If you are curious about the six, five year old meditators experience of unloading videos for 100 days, please watch it till the end. Especially the seven types of people listed here are Alma's main target audience. Please watch with special interest. Let's start. Hello, my name is Jae Chang Kim, a meditation teacher who will guide with scientific Vipassana meditation method. I'll talk in the eight steps of Harmon Circle. I started YouTube on March 20th of 2021, and I unloaded two videos, a theory and the practice of an introductory meditation lecture. The practice was later deleted and the theory video was received a good response continuously. A video introducing composer Sun Mi Gang's work unloaded on July 9th, 2023. It recorded the highest number of views on the channel and had a good impact on the channel's growth. I think it's because of this video, but the number of views suddenly jumped to 623 on July 16th, 2023, showing the sign of skyrocketing. However, at that time, I didn't know the meaning of it, so I couldn't connect it to channel growth. So what I realized is that well-made high-quality videos are effective over a long period of time. I have to put effort into creating a quality video. But after that, big problems started to pile up without realizing it. That's because I unloaded about 40 recorded videos of 2-3 hours recorded on Zoom over a period of 6 months without editing. This became the cause of serious stagnation in my YouTube channel. Because the number of views was too low and the average view rate also was very low, sometimes 1 or 2 percent, which is especially more important for channel's growth. So I thought it was a very serious situation. However, this happened entirely because I did not know about YouTube and operated it incorrectly. I was also very sorry to the invited experts and composers. So to everyone who was invited and participated in the program, I apologized formally, but I apologized here again. So almost all the videos except a few took down. After asking for their understanding to re unload or invite for these people, then the channel will be reactivated. So, to make a fresh start around October 2023, I thought I should do a proper trial of YouTube. So, by taking the advice of a YouTuber, I decided to try unloading a video every day for 100 days. For 100 days from October 16th, 2023 to January 23rd, 2024, I unloaded 58 long forms plus 62 shorts, total 120 videos. However, adapting to YouTube was very difficult because the results were very minimal. The number of views for long form videos ranged from 180 to 190 at the most, and the lowest were 32 or 38 views only. Shots were a little better, but 774 at most, and the lowest was 25 only. So I was feeling more emotions like helplessness and heaviness, which is coming from why, what I don't know and what I should do, rather than the feeling of disappointment and frustration because the gap with the successful YouTubers were incomparable, who has got the views of tens of thousands, several millions and billions, and even to 14.8 billions. But there were some meaningful changes. In 100 days, the number of subscribers increased by 110, from 120 to 230. As the traffic increased and the sign of hitting skyrocketing began to appear, I think there were about three times of the sign and the sudden jump in views. 1,090 views on December 24th, 784 views on December 30th and 486 views on January 12th. According to the advice from YouTubers, in times like this, I have to analyze it well and keep uploading videos similar to this one. But I couldn't find out the reason of the sudden jumps, so I wasn't able to lead channel's growth. Average view rate was quite high, which is more important for channel's growth than the number of views. So I consciously took care of the average view rate and I was hopeful because it was quite high. And another encouraging thing is the increase in the young audiences. If you look at the year or three years ago, the largest audience was over 65 years old. But with this 100 days daily of note, you can see the audience between 45 to 54 years old 
has increased the most. The audience aged 25 to 44 has also increased much. And the audience aged 18 to 24 has also begun to increase a little. So I thought it is hopeful. So I gained some confidence because if I continue to do this properly, I will definitely be able to grow the channel. This time, the external growth was not much, but the internal realization was still considerable. Insight 4, correct execution. Insight 1, the main target audience has become clear. 2, I realized that the world was changing rapidly and discovered a way to adapt. 3, it has become clearer that deepening meditation is the best way to adapt. So specific action plan for the next step, I will explain later. Three, understanding and communication plan for the main target audiences, I will explain later. However, I had a lot of trouble at this time because the results are so small compared to the great effort. And so the emotional blow was great because I devoted fully to meditation and uploading one or two videos every day for 100 days. But as you could see, the results were very minimal. The gap between successful YouTubers were incomparable, so I felt more feelings of helplessness and heaviness from not knowing what to do, and it was more difficult. Rather than the feelings of disappointment or frustration. The world's top YouTubers are all from younger generation. It's a Korean channel called Pink Phone, which is top in the number of views in the world, with about 14.8 billion views. A singing video of three minutes duration called Baby Shark was uploaded here seven years ago, and at that time, it was a video of a young girl and a boy in kindergarten were singing together. Mr. Beast, who boasts the second most subscribers in the world, is 25 years old, and YouTuber Ryan Trahan is also 25 years old. And Kim Machine, etc., who is also a successful YouTuber in Korea, were all in their 20s. In addition, I heard that there are many YouTubers in their teens who demonstrate considerable ability. And even though people under the age of 13 cannot become YouTubers, there are many elementary school YouTubers who use their parents' accounts to demonstrate their abilities. I think there are geniuses on YouTube. I heard that there is a YouTuber who promised to go from zero subscriber to 30,000 subscribers by uploading only one video and then actually realized it. Looking at this, I thought, ah, it became clearer to me that I really don't know much about YouTube. So although it was very difficult emotionally, I think it was also a blessing in disguise because one, I was able to reorganize my mindset. Two, it was a good opportunity to check my meditation practice. Three, and it becomes an important reason to practice meditation more deeply. One more shocking and important realization is the world is changing very rapidly. Especially in the digital world, the flow of knowledge hereditary has been completely reversed. Traditional flow is that knowledge, skills, and talent were passed down from the older generation to younger generation. But in the digital world, it has been completely reversed. Therefore, in the digital world, there is nothing to teach the younger generation. Rather, older generation must learn from the young. If I hadn't realized it at this time, I would have continued to struggle on YouTube. So I have to face the reality that if I revitalize YouTube, it is essential to collaborate with a talented younger generation. So in order to communicate with the younger generation, the question of what can I give them has become a very important topic. So at this time, I was able to complete the 100 days of nodding without giving up because I did it with the mindset of entering a meditation center and practice intensive meditation. Otherwise, I would have already given up because I was overwhelmed by the feelings of disappointment and frustration. However, at this moment, after I have finished the 100 day project and making this video, I'm feeling very calm and grateful because I have become clear about what I should do in the future and have gained a little bit of ability and confidence. What has become even more clear is that what I need to give to the younger generation is not knowledge, technology, or talent, 
but equanimous mind with insight and wisdom acquire the true deep meditation practice and great virtue that can embrace all beings. And so I am also very grateful. To look at the next step in the action plan one. One, focus more on meditation practice. Over the past 100 days, it has become more clear that meditation practice is at the most important. In the AI era, all knowledge, skills, and talents are left to AI. Humans need to find and focus on areas that can't be replaced by AI. However, I believe that the only field is meditation. Because 1. Meditation requires humans to observe their inner world. 2. We shouldn't learn meditation from AI because it has no practice experience. So our vision 2024 is by cultivating unwavering equanimity and virtue, become a year of growing and communicating with the world through YouTube. And vision 2030 is by realizing full enlightenment and perfecting great virtue, we will grow into a world-class meditation center connected to all 265 countries around the world. Therefore, to realize these visions, intensive meditation practice is essential. Therefore, without being left or right, I promise to devote myself even more to meditation practice toward full enlightenment. And two, I'll upload 100 long-form videos which will be developed more and more by the end of 2026, about three years later. This is very insightful advice from internationally successful YouTuber Mr. Beast. And so I'm going to take it and put it into practice. For the past 100 days, I had not been able to properly take care of the quality of my videos due to my obsession with uploading every day. However, my experience and advices from successful YouTubers are quality is much more important than quantity. So I'll take care of quality. Plan three, actively communicate and cooperate with the main target audiences. One, I'll present the value that Alma can provide through questions, so please consider it. Two, even if it is not directly applicable to you, please pay attention and think about it. Three, for more details, please refer to the description section, comments, and community bulletin board. Target one, meditators who want to achieve full enlightenment through scientific methods. Question, am I interested in full enlightenment in the age of AI? And have I found a trustworthy teacher to guide me toward it? Target two, composers, musicians, and artists who want to collaborate with meditators and the general public who want to easily engage in creative activities with the help of AI. Question one, am I prepared to adapt to a rapidly changing world due to advancement in AI, etc.? And are you aware of the new role? Question two, do I know that the time has come for creative artistic activities very easily through AI, etc., even though I have no professional skills or talent? Target three, philosophy experts who want to collaborate with meditators and the general public who need philosophy in the rapidly changing AI era. Question one, as a philosopher, am I prepared to adapt to the rapidly changing AI era and am I aware of my new role? Question two, do I have an established philosophy on what and how I should do in the rapidly changing AI era? Target four, Hatha Yoga experts who want to collaborate with meditators and Hatha Yoga practitioners who want to meditate. Question, as a Hatha Yoga expert, am I practicing deep meditation and am I ready to adapt to the rapidly changing AI era? Target five, activists and volunteers who want to contribute to changing the world and promoting world peace while managing themselves through meditation. Question, as a volunteer, do I have the know-how to work and volunteer tirelessly in 265 countries around the world? while managing my body and mind well in the rapidly changing AI era. I guess six, middle-aged and senior people over 45 years old who are interested in self-growth. Question one, are middle-aged people preparing for old age by innovation, knowing that the rapidly changing AI and digital age has completely reversed the hereditary flow of knowledge? Question two, are those who have already reached old age need to live healthier, more confidently, more meaningfully, and more energetically in the AI era. I guess seven, 
those who want to have cultural exchanges with 265 countries around the world and those who want to promote their country and culture to the world and contribute to the promotion of world peace. Question one, in the global era, do I want to have cultural exchanges with 265 countries around the world? Question two, am I know the wars going on in the AI era are a threat to me as well? And is there a recognition that we must join forces to promote world peace? Summary. Today, I told you about my experience of uploading a video every day for 100 days. In conclusion, the external growth over the 100 days was not that great. However, I was able to practice deep meditation and there was quite a bit of internal enlightenment. One, I've got clear insight for action. Two, I've got specific action plan. Three, I've got understanding the main target audience. Four, I've got a little capacity and confidence. Therefore, I am very happy to be able to confidently reach out to the subscribers and main target audience to join AOMA. Therefore, we are ready to grow by communicating with the world through YouTube with the help of practicing intensive meditation toward full enlightenment. So please actively express expectations and questions in comments Subscribe, like, notification settings, and if you actively participate in the AOMAS programs, a great help to everyone's growth. This was Je Chang Kim, a meditation teacher who will guide with scientific Vipassana meditation methods. Thank you.